Welcome to another tutorial by Mickle and Associates on QuickBooks. In this QuickBooks tutorial, we're going to uh, show you how you can use QuickBooks to handle your bills. We'll show you how you can enter a bill, and then we'll also show you how to pay bills using uh, the pay bill uh, window. We'll then show you how to run a report showing your unpaid bills, determine which bills uh, may need to be paid first, and then how to enter a discount on a bill from a vendor. So once you open your company file, first thing you're going to do is click on the vendor center. You can also get here by going to vendor and enter bills or you can get here just by uh, clicking the vendor center and then finding the vendor that you would like and then <coughs> right clicking and choose enter bill what we're going to do here is enter a bill for brown equipment rental I'm going to enter this bill as $1500 and as you can see uh, brown equipment rental uh, terms are 2% 10 net of 30 we'll just put um, repairs on the rental um, equipment you can see here the account is already selected equipment repairs and we can just copy and paste this information here choose uh, maintenance as the class save and close and now you can see we have entered a bill for brown equipment rental so we've entered our bill say uh, this is the only bill that we had and as you can see there's other bills that have already been typed in but this is the only bill that we have for the day and now I want to run a report showing me all the unpaid bills okay welcome to another tutorial by Michael and Associates and in this tutorial what we want to do is discuss uh, the different ways you can handle bills in QuickBooks, um, show you how to enter a bill in QuickBooks, um, to show you how to uh, track your bills, show you how to use the pay bills window to pay a bill in QuickBooks, and then show you how to enter a discount on a bill while you're paying it. So some businesses, especially if they own uh, smaller home-based businesses, pay the bills when they receive them. Uh, most businesses, however, find it more convenient to pay bills less often. If you don't plan on paying your bills right away, then QuickBooks can help you keep track of what you owe and when you owe it. The money you owe for unpaid bills is called accounts payable. QuickBooks uses the accounts payable to track all the money you owe. Like any QuickBooks balance sheet account, the accounts payable account has a register where you can view all of your bills at once. So let's go into this uh, company file here, Larry's Landscaping, and enter a bill within QuickBooks do this first you can click on vendor center or you can choose vendors and then select enter bills from the drop down menu okay that's one way Underway, vendor center and then select the vendor from the list right click and then choose enter bill right we want to enter a bill for a brown equipment rental $1,500 and as you can see it pre-populates the date using the default date of today 
put in with the old due date based off of settings within this vendor. You have your terms, the discount date, and you have a memo section just like you would for a check. So we'll uh, key in equipment. So what to do is copy this, and then as you tab over there and paste it in the memo section, and then choose save and close. And now you have enter the bill. You can see your bill right here with the date, accounts payable, and the amount. Um, if we look at Brown Equipment Rental and choose Edit Vendor, you can see the various information from within, you can see additional info where we can enter account number. There's some custom fields, discount available on the web URL. We have the terms, category, and type equipment, and account prefill. So we've entered our bill, and you can see that we uh, have other bills already entered. So let's bring a report to show us our unpaid bills. To do this, come up to reports. And we can go to the report center or we can just choose vendors, payables, and then unpaid bills detail. And then using today's date as the default, it will pull up the information here. But now, you're looking at this and you want to find out, okay, well, which bill, uh, based on my cash flow, which bill is most advantageous for me to pay now and for me to make sure I paid, you know, on time to take advantage of some discounts. So, this uh, default report here would need to be modified in order to put the information in front of us so we can know. You can start by going to Modify Report. And then in the columns section, let's find one that, and click on the terms, choose OK. And now we can drag this open so that we can read it in case there's extra. You can see now that out of all of our bills, we want to make sure that we pay the brown equipment rental early and take advantage of the 2% discount. 10 net of 30 means if you pay the bill within 10 days, then you can take a 2% discount. But the full amount is due in 30 days. That's what that means. So we showed you how to enter a bill. Now we showed you how to uh, check your bills, pick out bills that are most advantageous to pay early. And now let's pay a bill within QuickBooks. So first we can go to vendors and then choose pay bills. And again, there's multiple ways uh, to get to this screen. I'm just showing you the ways that I, I typically use. And we want to pay uh, uh, the brown equipment rental. And as you can see, we have our discount date here, 12-25-2015. And we want to apply the discount because currently it's saying discount used is zero and our amount to pay is 1500 But we're not going to pay that. We're going to take advantage of the discount. So come here to this area and we say set discount. You can see the terms are 2% 10 net of 30. So our suggested discount is $30. And it automatically pre-populates its information in here. The difference here is that we're going to choose the discount account, which is already set up. And as you can see, discounts and income turns savings for us. And our class is going to be, and it can be anything here, a class is going to be related into uh, what this expense is associated with. So suppose uh, this uh, equipment that was repaired is in the maintenance division. So we'll say maintenance, and you can see now the amount due is 1500 our discount is 30 
and the amount to pay is 14.70. So we say done. Here we can change to be a printed check, or we can assign a check number. Choose the correct account for the check to be written from, and change the payment date, and then choose pay selected bill. And from this screen, you can click on print checks more bills which will take you back to the same window you just came from or you can choose done and this is done so now you're out of the screen you want to get to the screen to print your check go ahead and show you how to do that come to write checks and uh, choose here and then print batch and then here you can see all the outstanding checks we'll just select none which will remove the check mark from all of these checks. Let's come down until we find our brown equipment rental. Then we'll choose OK. And then it's going to walk us through the rest of the steps in order to uh, print this check. And now you uh, saw how to record your bill, pull it up within the pay bills window. Select it for payment and then apply a vendor discount to the building.